specifically will you do to prevent crimes like auto theft, home invasions, and robberies? Well, thank you for that question, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a lot we can do to improve public safety in District 8. Uh, we've increased our police budget by more than $100 million over the last five years, and I think that we need, your supervisor needs to make sure that that money's getting spent effectively, that we're not having issues like the crime lab. So the first thing is to work on making sure that the police department does its job correctly. But there's other things that we can do to uh, increase uh, public safety in the district, including things as simple as better streetlights, uh, graffiti abatement, uh, making an environment that seems less conducive to crime, and having the city engaged around those things. Supporting things like Casper Community on, on Patrol, um, and and supporting our patrol specials, which uh, are under siege currently, um, but actually do provide useful service, particularly in District Eight. So I think those are some of the ways that I would see uh, improving public safety in District Eight. Thank Scott. <laughs> Scott Weider, everybody. <laughs> um, Scott Weider. Um, this actually isn't a gotcha question. Um, there are, uh, the largest use of services tells us there's something like 5,700 uh, marginally housed or homeless youth in San Francisco, and something like 20 to 40 percent of those kids uh, are queer. Um, everybody on this panel is a, is a, is a queer adult. Um, I'm wondering if you feel like the community of queer adults and the larger San Francisco community is meeting its obligations to these kids, and if not, what a supervisor you want to do to help make the city uh, live up to its obligations? Um, I don't think that we're living up to our responsibility to um, our kids, and um, it's our responsibility to advocate for them, and that means making sure that we are providing housing opportunities, uh, for these kids and that they're safe housing opportunities uh, because kids, more than other people, uh, can be victimized in ways that sometimes adults are not. Um, we also need to make sure that the Castro in particular is a welcoming place for kids. Right now, um, there is uh, a startling lack of non-alcoholic um, social opportunities for kids in the Castro. When I uh, 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 co-founded the Castro Community on Patrol, um, we uh, talked for a long time about how to create some kind of non-alcoholic space for young uh, queer kids in the Castro. And uh, it's very difficult. Right now, Lyric closes like at 6 o'clock or something like that. And uh, that's not late enough um, because it's at, that's just not going to really do the job. So uh, that's another thing that we really need to do. I'm not ready for that one. Thank you. Bill, you want to ask a question? 
question to you, Rebecca? Oh, sure. All right. Thank Thank you. Uh, um, would you support cutting the payroll tax at 1.5% of our employers here in the city for a year to maybe five years to see if it could stimulate job growth? And if that's not acceptable, acceptable to you, what is your alternative to help stimulate job growth? Uh, well, I don't know if I would support that payroll tax off the bat. Off the bat, I do think, given that we have a seven hundred million dollar deficit that's looming next year, that we're not going to have that kind of luxury. The way that I would stimulate job growth is. We found out that when we uh, made our statement against Arizona on the immigration law that we print our paychecks in Arizona. And so we're sending our city dollars to Arizona for, uh, to, to print paychecks. Make the argument that there isn't a place in San Francisco to print paychecks. Okay, I'll take that. But don't tell me there wasn't a place in California where we could have shipped those dollars. What I'm proposing is giving city, con giving city businesses, local businesses here, the mom and pop shops, a point in our city's contracting system to make it easier for local businesses to get our city tax dollars, infuse those dollars here, that's going to be one of the quickest ways that we can do job growth. And that came from a commission, small commission uh, president, Richard Ventura, who's a supporter of mine, which I think is a brilliant idea. Alrighty, you nice articulate people. <laughs> Let's uh, help itself. <laughs>